Hello world, I'm coming at you with another tutorial about Runway's AI system and all of the, the products that it, it does. I am today going to be talking about their avatar creation uh, system. I um, wanted to first say this is for um, anybody that's familiar with Runway and already has an account set up. Um, if you don't have account set up, uh, you can create a free one. Um, if you watch my um, previous video about um, a trial run with Runway, um, it'll explain how to do that um, and everything and just the general help you get started. Um, but once you do have that all set up and you're somewhat familiar with the um, layout, the UI, then um, we will begin here. So what I am going to focus on today is training your own generator. Um, basically, it's a way to make an avatar that the um, AI will remember um, and you can use it in different prompts to try to get basically your face on the uh, whatever you're generating. So um, what you do is click on train your own generator. Now um, train a portrait generator I think is basically the same as train an animal generator. Um, I haven't tried the animal generator. I'm not sure if I could get my dog to sit still enough to get enough photos for it, but um, from what I understand, it's basically the same thing as a portrait generator. And the custom generator would be uh, more advanced if you're creating a scene or something like that. And I'll fool around with that and I'll have an um, upcoming video on um, how that differs from these two. But the portrait generator is the one that I uh, worked on. And um, this is my different I guess you could call them avatars um, and what it took um, was just a whole bunch of photos of me um, these are not my photos sorry um, it doesn't save I guess the ones that I uploaded but um, they say that they prefer somewhere around 30 photos I took um, 60 um, and it created a hundred of these different sort of avatar things um, in different styles, different backgrounds um, that I guess you could download and then use to put in, I guess you could read feed it into um, some other program or uh, just use it in general ways, but it does. You know, ones that look like an avatar and um, ones that look like, you know, like a pencil sort of sketch and then, you know, they just send you, I have no idea why, but they just come out with a whole bunch of these like um, me as a doctor of some sort um, and I mean this one just pretty much looks like a photo of me um, but anyways you get a whole bunch of these photos and yeah I mean uh, but that's not what we're gonna do today we're gonna show you guys how to create your own generator now, um, what you do is hit train the generator and then upload. Now, like I said, I, these aren't actually even the ones, I uploaded like 60 of them. So what you need to do is get, um, I took a lot of these just myself. Um, it's really easy, you know, with a cell phone. You're trying to focus on your face um, and just different angles, different expressions. I probably could have done more expressions um, that probably would have helped it out but I got shots of like the back of my head side of my face on both sides and I pretty much just walked around different lighting environments um, you know you want some when it's daylight some that are outside um, some where it's dark and um, you know you've got light shining on you just to give it a bunch of stuff so basically once you start uploading I'm not gonna do this because it takes a thousand credits and I'll get into the whole credit system later um, but um, you basically put a whole bunch of your um, images here and then it'll take a while to upload it and then it'll basically go back to um, you know whatever it, it it does in the background and then takes you back here and when you do end up creating your own it'll show up in your assets folder and it'll say your name outputs 
and um, just give you a whole bunch. And I did three of them, and they all basically it did was just give me a whole bunch of the same thing. So I can go over to text to image. I've done this a few times, and you know it says I have 107 generations left. Um, each generation uses five credits. Um, so each one of these, you know, will take um, five credits to create. Um, and basically, you've got settings. If you're familiar with Mid Journey, um, it's sort of the same stuff. Um, you know, ratio. Although you're, you can only choose these five options as far as ratio goes. Um, you get better resolution. I'm going to do this one on 512 just so it works faster. And then you can choose how many outputs that you want. Um, if you're curious, clicking on batch just tells them to um, contact them with how many you, you want to batch. So I don't know what's up with that, but that is not for probably you and me. Um, so I'm just going to put in my prompt. Um, it'll have your whichever avatars you've got listed down here. I don't know. It just had Ian 3, so that's the one I'm going with. Then a beautiful portrait of a bear mauling Ian and, uh, with four outputs. Um, so when you go to text to image, um, this will say default initially. Um, but once you have an avatar, it will um, add it. It'll have those uh, selection options. Um, all right. Now, this doesn't really look like this bear is mauling me. Sometimes it looks like a uh, sort of like a statue that's made out of plastic or something. Um, and none of them really look bad. This one looks like it's trying to kiss me. Um, so as far as this goes, now this, you know, it does my face pretty well. Um, I wish I had some saved, um, from the last time that I did it, um, because it really was not even doing my face well. Um, so I can show you, um... This is the text to image I did this morning. Here it did pretty well, painting as an aristocrat in the 1800s and me. Um, and then this is me in the 1700s. And it does, you know, some of them are kind of off in the face, but that's not, you know, too bad. I tried to do an African king or something and that obviously didn't work out. But, you know, it's not as, as good as I had sort of thought. Um, like this one was as a surfboarder riding big waves. I mean, sometimes it throws two of me in there. I don't know what's up with this. This is not the way you ride a surfboard unless you're about to jump off. Um, and this is me as a crime scene, a policeman at a crime scene. The, the, the AI is just not really, if you, um, you knew the inside of my house, my house is all white with uh, this color, like stained wood everywhere. So, it's really losing a lot of the images that I took, but still not. I mean, if you look at this person, that doesn't look like me. This guy doesn't really. Um, and some of these just really are not, they're not very good AI images at all. Um, you know, this is me supposed to be a fireman in a fire. And I don't know what's going on in a lot of these. Um, this is me um, fighting as a soldier on D-Day and doesn't really look like I'm fighting on D-Day. And this is me as a mouse and really didn't just added a mouse and somewhere in the background to a picture. So I thought this would be a good um, test to do. I, if you're familiar with Mid Journey, um, I will show you a little tip on how to do this if you're unfamiliar just using Mid Journey. It's just not, I don't think it's up there right now. Um, so what I did, prompt, and I figured I'd take it into Mid Journey and just see how it did in comparison. So this is what I got from Mid Journey, the same prompt. Now this looks pretty good. As far as my face goes, um, that's not not too bad, not too far off. Um, like this, I don't have a chin like that. 
you know, there's there are differences between my face and these, but it looks like I'm on a beach, which gives the idea that it actually knows what D-Day is. Um, and I look like I'm fighting, I'm bloody, I'm all dirty, stuff like that. So this one does a bit better, and it doesn't cost, um, you know, as much as Runway does. Um, and I wanted to show you guys how to do this in uh, Mid Journey. Now, see, I created all these sort of where I'm a king, and um, they sometimes make me look a bit effeminate um, at times, which I understand, but you know, you don't have to point it out. Uh, but you know, some of these don't look bad. Um, so, if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, um, I will show you, and it's very, very simple. Um, so you've got Mid Journey open. Um, go over here. I do to my desktop, and I'll just grab this photo of me, and pull it over, and all of a sudden, it just want, it's on the website. So if you go down here, and forward slash imagine. And you just grab this, pull it right in there, and there it is. And I'll take off that extra period. Um, and then as a pilot, there you go. So it takes this image and then it uses this face. Now it won't work if, you know, the person's turning to the side or something. You'd want to get a photo that sort of matches. Um, the position that, you know, whatever pose that you're putting the person in um, would be in, but um, it works pretty good. And if you already have an account and everything with Midjourney, um, it's not, you know, it doesn't cost you uh, very much to create these. It used, tends to do a little bit better. Um, okay, so let's check out what you got. This one doesn't look like me. This one doesn't look like me. None of these actually look like me. And I can always do variations and try to get it closer. No idea what's going up here um, with this guy's eye. But it does get the context that I'm in a uh, cockpit somewhere. Anyways, um, you can throw that in there um, and just play with that. And it, it just doesn't doesn't cost as much money and seems to work a bit better. So there's one other thing that you can do um, with mid or runway um, that is um, let's see involves your um, uh, involves your avatar. Um, is you can actually add text to video somewhat here in your um, video to video. I can say in the prompt section, so there's image, if you want to do it off of the image, presets, which are just the easiest way to get or quickest way to get something. And then you can also put your name, your avatar's name, and then add it into a prompt. And I'm not going to do this because I'll waste five seconds um, off of my thing. And I know how it does. So basically, I took um, a video. If you saw my previous video, it's just a um, basically a sketch of me looking right to left. Um, and I put it into this, and it just... I don't know what it creates. It's just scary. Um, this was supposed to make me be a donkey or something, but is there, I see a tail flopping around. I, I really don't know. Whatever it's um, going to try to do, I don't know. It's just the, the um, text of video is not there yet. Um, and there's a few things that are not there yet with Runway so far. Um, and I'll be testing all of this stuff out and um, having videos just to show you so you don't have to spend money on something that you really don't need because a lot of them are sort of vague. Uh, but um, right now, as far as the um, text to video or text to image, um, Midjourney still still has it, and even with just prompts. 
um, regular text prompts. So um, I will be poking around in here and I'll let you know if anything that I'm really blown away by. Infinite Image is great. Um, I've used that on a couple images and it works pretty well. Um, similar to basically on par with Dali 2. Um, the only thing that really um, has blown me away is the um, video to video. And um, it's just so expensive to try to work on. So um, I will keep at it and let you guys know um, the train your, own, train your Own Generator is cool that it gives you these images. I wish the quality could be just as good with the um, text to image. But that's it for now. Stay tuned. Make sure you smash that subscribe and like button and smash those keys as you write me a comment. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.